Hi everyone, my name is Louise, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am a recent graduate from Cal Poly with my degree in software engineering. So I will be talking about the major and my experience with the major. So what software engineering formally is, is that it's a in-depth in study of computer science fundamentals, but also software engineering fundamentals and practices. Um, just like CS, there is one formal concentration and that is interactive entertainment. And so if you're interested in pursuing a career in video games um, or in computer graphics, then these classes would be geared towards that concentration. Other than that, there are no, no formal concentrations within computer science or software engineering, but there is a wide variety of electives that you can choose from, such as security, UI UX design, artificial intelligence, and databases. So with my experience with the major, I actually was a formal transfer student when I came into Cal Poly, but um, the experience that I had was pretty much no different from like um, from anyone who's starting off as a freshman. So in your first two years of the program, um, unless you're a transfer student like I was, um, you will be taking classes in object-oriented design, um, data structures, and systems programming, and that's just like pretty, and it's a pretty similar like um, path that um, CS majors also take. Um, but it does shift a little bit once you're in your third and fourth year as a SE major. So the reason for that is that it you start to take more team oriented classes. So your software engineering intro classes are going to be two quarters, quarters instead of one quarter. Um, and you also will be taking external electives that are geared towards um, psychology and working on teams or group communication. Um, and so in the last year of your of the program, you'll be taking a year long capstone class where you'll be building a product for an industry sponsor. Um, for me, I had an industry sponsor that was um, from a local startup. So um, we were able to interact with them biweekly and be able to like meet with them and talk to them about their um, vision about the product and just go through like the whole entire software development life cycle with them. And my experience that was probably the most invaluable experience I've had at Cal Poly because the whole learn by doing is just from that like year itself. Um, and that helped me like boost up my confidence to transition into a full time software engineering position. Um, for internships and how to get involved with the major. So I um, I used um, clubs as a huge resource to me. So I was involved in women involved in software and hardware um, where I served as, last, as the vice president my last year. One really good resource that I used was going to the Grace Hopper conference. And that's where I got to network with num a, a large number of women and also get internships from there, from their like career fair. And you can still get those internship opportunities at like um, Cal Poly's career fair and also the competing career fair that happens every fall quarter. Um, there's also a ton of other um, clubs around the um, both majors and that's like um, White Hat, um, Color Coded and Mobile App Development. And Cal Poly also hosts um, two hackathons, which are both really great opportunities for you to build and pitch a, part, a product um, and be able to build out in a short period of time. So two of the main ones are um, Camp, Camp Poly Hacks and Slow Hacks. So um, you'll probably see more information below in the description, but that's pretty much just like my experience from being at Cal Poly. So um, thank you so much for listening to this presentation.